Do you ever wonder what makes the light bulb like us? The operating principle behind the light bulb is very simple. When you run an electric current through a thin filament which causes it to get hot. Hot objects emit light so the bulb glows. The higher the temperature, the more intense glow. And the more white the light that comes out so if you get the filament hot enough, you get a bright source of light and reflecting through the wall visible region of the spectrum. Temperature is the reason for the bulb heating the filament to the necessary temperatures. In air will cause chemical reaction that quickly destroy the filament. This can be avoided by putting the filament in glass bulb with the air either pump away or in higher voltage bulbs replaced with an inner gas like argon. Good morning, my name is Kenneth Tan from XIPA. Uh, today I'm doing a vlog where I will discuss physical application in my daily life. Well, first of all, I have to walk to the kitchen to make my morning routine. But do you wonder, is there any physics applicated when you walking? The law that works here is called Newton's third law. That's that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. This is relevant to walking because when you put your foot on the ground, you are applying force to it. In doing this, the ground also actually applies an equal force onto your foot in the opposite direction, pushing you forward. Doors are an excellent example of the physics principle of torque in our everyday lives. Torque is an influence or force which when applied to an object can change its rotational motion torque is a to rotational physics what force is to dynamics on the door the force applied was perpendicular to the lever arm because the knob is attached perpendicularly and thus sin of theta where theta is 90 degrees is equal to zero because the knob is on the end of the door that is away from the axis of rotation or the hinges relatively mega force has to be applied in order to open the door. Large torque will be applied because torque is equal to force times sin of theta times distance. The knob was placed on the end of the doors by design to make opening and closing doors more convenient. Of my morning routine, I will drink a cup of coffee to be more productive and energetic. But to make a coffee not too hot, I usually put some ice cubes to make it cooler. And for several minutes, I realized that the ice cube melt. Why is this do so? Do so because the law of thermodynamics states that if you have any hot object contact physically with any cold object, there will be transfer of energy from hot object to cold object. So of the time until they both reaches the same temperature, we are called also thermal equilibrium. Because my room temperature is a bit hot, so I decided to turn on the ceiling fan. Do you ever wonder why does the ceiling fan rotate? The ceiling fan has a motor that converts electrical energy into mechanical energy. First, the capacitor of the ceiling fan torques up the electric motor, thereby causing it to start and run. As the electrical current reaches the motor, it enters coil of wire that are wrapped around a metal piece. When this current passes through the wire, it creates a magnetic field which further exerts force in clockwise motion. In this way, the electric energy is converted into mechanical energy and causes the motor coils to spin. The blades attached to the motor also start gaining motion with the spinning of the coil. So, how the ceiling fan cools? The mechanism behind the ceiling fan is quite simple. It's a known fact that air naturally stratifies. The lighter warm air rises up while the cool air that is heavy sinks down. The rotation mechanism of the ceiling fan is built in a way so as to attract the warm air upward. As the hot air rises up, the blades of the fan slice this air and push it down. This being a continuous process causes the air in the room to circle in the entire room. Thus, a ceiling fan only moves the air around. Contrary to the common belief, fans do not exactly cool, rather, they speed up the process of expression of the sweat on our body, which naturally makes us feel cool. So, when do the homework, I wonder why the ink of the pen flow down. The principle behind the working of a ball pen is surface tension and gravity. The ink gets spread over the ball due to surface tension. The flow of ink to the ball is based on the surface tension. If the surface tension is high, the ink won't spread over the ball properly. If the surface tension is low, then the ink will get spoiled. Therefore, for the proper working of the ball pen, the surface tension should be medium and gravity pulls the ink down towards the paper and the ball rolls in when you write on a piece of paper. Thanks for watching, hope you guys enjoyed the video.